welcome to Weiler Academy. Today our healthy living tip is going to be on wrist, wrist motion, wrist tightness. Um, I'm sure you've all heard of carpal tunnel problems. Also there's the um, pec minor syndrome from the front of the shoulder, so that has a lot to do with it. Um, and we're just going to work on showing you simple moves to help you relieve that stress in your fingers and hands and wrists and shoulders. So Amanda is with us today and I'm just going to show her a base exercise and then I'm going to have her do it. So I'm going to do it first. So I'm going to take my hands and I'm going to push them down into a surface. So a desk, a tabletop, and you're just going to look at your hands. So you want your fingers to be spread equally apart and you want your hands to lay flat onto the surface. The trick is then to get your shoulders directly over your wrists so that you're getting a nice 90 degree angle into your wrist without putting pressure into it. So when I pressurize it then, I change my posture. You want to feel the extension, feel the energy shooting through the palm of your hand into the surface and your arms nice and straight. So you feel that stretch up the back of your arm. Then you raise your arms into a nice flexion and your hand should be at a 90 degree angle. So if you look at this angle, my hands are straight out from my shoulders and I'm not lifting and rounding my shoulders. I can press them down and that's a huge, huge stretch. And notice I haven't lost any stretch between my fingers and they're all pretty even and stretched out exactly, pretty much the same. So from that position, I should be able to lower them and hit the surface exactly as I came up. So that's the motion. Okay, so now I'm going to have Amanda try it. So she's going to place her fingers down. Okay, and if you notice, she has some differences in the stretch between her fingers. Some of her little fingers are, they're very tiny, mm -hmm. but they're um, a little bent in. Those are little signs of stress from the muscles in her arms so we can work on straightening those out and it's very hard for her to keep her hand down and lean forward feel that mm -hmm. so it's going to be a really big stretch for her up the back of her arm and it's, it can even be a little painful mm -hmm. so it's going to be hard for her to widen mm -hmm. her shoulders and she's going to feel that stretch as I pull her shoulders back so if you notice that her chest got really wide be very careful that when you do this that you don't put pressure into your hands. You want to feel like you're almost just lightly touching the surface. Mm -hmm. Feel the difference? Mm -hmm. Okay, because if you hang down into it, you can really stress. I mean, it's going to be a great stretch, but you don't want to do too much at first. You got to give yourself time and practice. So as she's lifting up, I like to feel the energy lifting up away from gravity and pulling down your back to get that, again that nice, beautiful posture. Lifting up. Okay, now try to ground your hands and do that. There you go. Don't press in. Try to feel the lift. Got it? Mm -hmm. Okay, now feel like your arm is lifting up in front of you, both of them at the same time. And as you do that, try to keep your shoulders down. So I try to tell everyone to pull your bones back and drop them down. So if you notice, I'm going to have you turn to the side. See, for her, it's very hard, um, hard for her to get the 90 degree angle like I had. It's going to be hard for her to keep pulling, and that's going to be really painful, right? Mm -hmm. But she's doing a good job at keeping her elbows straight. So she's just going to work on shooting that energy out of the heel of her hand, spreading those fingers nice and wide, dropping those shoulders, and she's going to stand back straight, keeping that elbow straight. And now try to bring your arms down and plant them exactly as they were before into the mat and ground them again and lift them up and stand tall. Reach away, feel the shoulders pulling down your back, build that nice 90 degree angle, and now try to bend your hand downward. Feel the difference in the stretch and then spread them back out again and then lower them back down slowly. And again, try to build that 90 degree plumb line feeling. It's a great stretch and stand up. And then just wiggle your fingers from small finger to thumb, small finger to thumb, always wrapping your thumb around. See how it comes back to life and gets all mm -hmm. good, gets that nice movement. There you go. Cool. Thank you. So this is great for people that have pain in their 
shoulders and their wrists, um, arthritis in the fingers. Just remember, very important, you don't want to put your pressure into the surface. Lightly touch and you might not get your hand down all the way. So just give yourself time. Practice makes perfect and your wrists will love you and you'll feel much better in your hands and get much more range of motion. Any questions or need some more tips on that, please come and come stop by and visit us here at Weiler Academy. We'd love to see you. Thanks.